Now it's time to dig into the Google Docs research tool. Now this is a recent addition to the Google Docs suite and it's an amazingly powerful tool. So here I'm creating a document all about a South African safari. So I'm gonna go up to the tools menu and select the research button here. Once we've opened it, you'll see a new bar appear on the right side and it's already detected that we're going to be writing about South Africa. Now let's quickly look at the different options or the different functionalities of the research tool. If you click this little drop down menu, you'll see that you can now search the internet or search Google and have it pull up images, scholarly journal articles, quotes, dictionary if you want to find or define words, personal stuff so it's looking into your own docs, or tables. Now, because this is a South African safari, I want to insert some images and possibly even a quote from former South African president, Nelson Mandela. So let's first look for images. One of the places to go on a safari in South Africa is the game reserve of Pillensburg. So let's do a search for it. I don't know how to spell it correctly, so I'll type it in, hope I get close enough, and it'll pull up some images. Pillensburg. Let's see here with an S. And now it's searching Google and pulling up images for Pillensburg, South Africa. Here you can have a map of the game reserve. I think it'd be cool to insert that because we want to know where we're traveling to. If I select the image, it can actually pull it up so you can see where the image is coming from. Or if you hover over it, you can actually just pull the image directly into your Google Doc. Now if you notice, right after the image, you see a little one. That's because it's creating a citation down here at the bottom where you pulled that images. Obviously you'll have to edit the citation to adhere to APA or Chicago or whatever format you're wanting to do your citations in, but it's a nice little start. It'd be nice to insert an image here of this white rhino. I can drag it in. It's now footnoted as number two and it's there. Now let's go ahead and insert a quote. Go ahead and switch over to the quote search. We can type in Mandela to see if we have any quotes from the former president. We have one quote here. It says, it always seems impossible until it's done. If I click the insert button, it'll put it in there and also create a citation where it comes from. Now you'll notice that it only pulled up one quote and you obviously know that Nelson Mandela said many other famous things during his lifetime. That's because this tool is pretty new and I believe over time, Google will continue to build out its functionality and add resources to it. So that's just the basics for the research tool and how to insert images and quotes directly into Google Docs without even leaving the document itself.